Good morning. This time we are going to learn how to make a flyer by using a Microsoft Publisher. Start with, we click the start button or the window icon, then look for the Microsoft Publisher. Here we have Publisher 2016. Click and it will open. That will show us some featured templates. We go to built in. Then, since we are making a flyer, we look for built in templates for flyers. Okay, we have here flyers. So, it shows us the built in templates for flyers, for event, for marketing, real estate, blank sizes. For this purpose, we will use blank sizes. Well, for example, an A4. Okay, so you have an A4 portrait. Page size 21 by 29.7 centimeter. Then you have color scheme. You can customize the color scheme. You can choose sunrise. Okay, and uh, For the font scheme, we can also customize. Okay, we look for this one. Tribulet, Tribulet, and Miss Bold. Then click. Okay, uh, we'll click Create New. Uh, it will provide some business information for this set. So we'll no longer use that one. Okay, cancel. Then click create. Okay. So, first thing to do is to save your publisher document. It is first time to. Save, we click File, Save as this PC, Desktop. So we can save it in our desktop to easily find the document that we are working on. Fire. Project. Okay, then click save. Okay, so first thing to do is we make a backdrop. Okay, we can insert rectangle shapes. Okay, serve as our backdrop. Okay, we can format, click format with the shape so go to colors and lines so let's choose this color and then the presets there's no background or meaning there are, no, there are no border lines and click ok so you have your backdrop ok Next, we can start by inserting a picture. So, for example, we use uh, pictures that have been downloaded already from the internet. Okay, example this one. We can adjust the size of the picture. Okay, then click again insert shapes insert shapes uh, we can use different shape like this one uh go chart.
So we are advertising our school. So we are creating a flyer for our school. So right click. You can format auto shape. You can change the color. Again, you can use uh, an orange color. So it's the view effects. Okay. Click OK. Okay. So again. We need to delete or uh, get rid of the borders. Good line color. Make it white and click OK. So the borders are white. Okay, then this shape we can add text. Right click, add text. So, our text here should be, for example, Excellence is our benchmark. Okay, you highlight it, go to home, you can change the font. Let's say the font is century. Schools book. Okay. Then the font is it. a little bigger. Okay. Excellence is our benchmark. You can format this by clicking Format. Okay. A text field, so you can adjust the color. Or so say the color is white. Okay, then make it bold and correct. <clears throat> so next, uh, we put here our the name of our school. We'll click insert text box. Okay, then our school name. Let's say for example one. De La Cruz Memorial or Juan De La Cruz Central School Memorial Central School. Let's say it's in Palo Palo Leite. Okay. You can change the font about let's say Budoni. You can it's dep that depends on us, depends on our creativity. The Budoni, then the, let's say the font size is 14. Make it bigger. Then right click to change the spacing paragraph. We have blind spacing and adjust it here. Click OK. Okay. We can also change the background feel of the shape or of the text box. Just right click. Here, let's say this one or a lighter, lighter one. 
okay, this one. So you have one De La Cruz Memorial Central School Palo Lake. It's our name of our school. We can insert more pictures. Insert pictures. We have a picture of a teacher. Okay. Let's put it here. When insert another shape. Okay, again, can adjust the shape scholar. Something like this one. From an auto shape. So the border art, there's no border. Click this one, then okay. We have another insert another picture or shape here. Hello. Right click format auto shape. Change the border size. Then the color. Let's go for a lighter one. Okay. So right. Okay, so since we are advertising our school, we can put here and add text here. Uh, let's say that our this our school is a national school. Press conference overall champion. Uh, let's say that our school was also featured in, say, for example, GMA. Kapuso channel or showcased in the Philippine Star. Okay. So we can adjust the font. Okay, let's say it's Simpson. Okay. Let's choose another one. Then adjust the size. Okay, all right. So our school has been featured in and change the font color. On the font size or the font name. Okay. Jimmy Kapusu channel. Change the font color blue. This one also to blue. Okay. Kapuso is uh, highlighted with red, underlined with red because it does not recognize the word. So we right click on it and click ignore. Ignore all. Here we can also insert what are, we can add text. 
I'll go to home. We have here the bullets. Home. We can enter here the bullets. For example, our school is offering peer tutoring. We have modular instruction. We have computer laboratories. Okay. So let's increase the size to 16. Okay. Then insert another picture of a boy enrolling in school. Okay, again, this if you get a picture from the internet with a white background, you can remove background by using Microsoft PowerPoint again. So click Microsoft PowerPoint. Blank presentation, blank layout. You cut the picture and go to PowerPoint, then paste. Then click format, remove background, then adjust to the edges. Then click keep changes. So then copy, go to the publisher and paste. Okay, now you just remove the background. Okay. You can add more designs. Uh, okay, the pictures. Example, a tree. Here. So then the last part would be to convince them to enroll now. Click on, make it bold, font color, let's make it red, center. make it a little bigger okay so there you have it so we have uh, an example of a flyer so this is our example for flyers which are used for advertising our school okay so click save to save your document and click file for print preview okay you have there for okay perfect then click you can print it and you can distribute it for Okay, so that's it. Thank you for listening. Hope you'll learn something from this presentation. Thank you and babuhayin.